it's time for another new Kansas City Spotlight. Here's your host, Lauren Scott. March is Brain Injury Awareness Month, and joining us now is Dr. Beth McQuinston, Medical Director in Abbott's Diagnostics, Business and Neurologist, and Kathy Deringer, President of the National Athletic Trainers Association, to share what parents, coaches, and caregivers need to know about concussions. Good morning, ladies. Good, Good morning. morning. A survey from your newly formed Concussion Awareness Now Coalition found that one in two concussions are ignored. Can you explain why that is and why it's important to know the signs? Sure. So there are a number of reasons that concussions can be missed. Concussions can happen anywhere, anytime, to anyone, and they're unexpected. So that, along with the fact that you can't see your brain. If you were to fall and twist your ankle, you can see that your ankle is swollen and you can feel that that hurts. Oftentimes we call a concussion an invisible injury. You can't see it and you don't necessarily know what a concussion feels like. We also did a survey of a thousand adults across the United States and what we found is that eight out of ten people couldn't list the most common signs and symptoms of concussion. So you can't treat and evaluate what you don't know. Here are the most co common signs and symptoms of concussion. One, headache. Two, nausea and vomiting. Three, just not feeling yourself. Four, maybe you're irritable or you're, you're having trouble sleeping. And then there are a list of other signs and symptoms that we have on our website, concussionawarenessnow.org. Uh, what should parents and coaches know to help protect their kids and athletes? I think the most important question is who's taking care of your child. Athletic trainers have the educational background, the knowledge, and the expertise to identify, recognize, and treat that concussion as well as other injuries should they occur. Yet we know that 30% of high schools across the country don't have access to an athletic trainer. So the most important question is, who's there to take care of your children should an injury occur? Uh, and if, that, if there isn't someone, I would ask why there isn't, making sure that we're protecting the health and safety of your children. Okay, so how can someone learn more about concussion symptoms and what to do if they suspect one? Please go to the website, concussionawarenessnow.org and stay tuned because we have a new public service announcement coming out later this month. This Kansas City Spotlight has been paid for by Abbott.